Hi there, this is Calculus Integrals, and uh, what we're going to be talking about is how to determine the area under curves. Um, first of all, utilizing, uh, well, you will utilize uh, just simple geometry techniques and then uh, see how that tends itself to essentially the topic of integrals. So, um, first of all, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to draw our typical function y equals x squared and uh, the reason we do that is just so we're familiar with it so I'm just gonna draw the positive side of that where the x equals positive and uh, as you can see right here here we are and remember it does go, it does continue into the negative zone but uh, we're gonna ignore that so um, first of all, I just want to ask you, from 0 to 1, how would you determine, knowing what you know now, how would you determine this area right here? All the area between 1 and 0, how would you do that? Well, um, one might say, uh, you know, if I do a quick drawing of it, and here I'll just do another quick sketch one that I can scribble on. If I were to do a quick drawing of it, you could almost see, let's just say this is 1 comma 1, you can almost kind of see that maybe a triangle would work. A triangle of that position. However, you know that you would be incorrect by this amount of air. The really dark shaded area would be considered your air. Now we could try and uh, maybe break it apart a little bit more and that's actually kind of the first step when you think of integrals is well, you know, we could just try using smaller shapes to cut down on the amount of air that we got and have less and less overlap. So, there's two ways to go about this, and here I'll just draw two direct graphs. I'm going to draw big ones just so we can have a, an easy image, an easy picture to reference, and I'll draw two side by side so you can reference them both. Okay, so I'm actually going to draw essentially the same graph. Um, let's start off here. Well, that'll be one, and this will be one. And uh, I'm sorry if this looks lopsided, but I'm just going to make both these one. And then I'm going to split it up five times, so something like that. Okay, and okay, uh, okay. So now I'm just going to give it each of these uh, their own number, just so that we can see them. And the point of this is so that I can accurately kind of draw out really where the air is coming from. And that way, we will not be confused when I start talking about using smaller and smaller increments, why we want to do that, and wh why people even do integrals, rather than just determining them from, you know, this block method I'm going to show you. So, um, using this y equals x squared function, I'm just going to draw the actual points. I, I kind of know where they are just from practice so generally it's gonna look something like this excuse my art and so what I want us to do when I when I explain this is that I want us to take two different approaches when we draw it one approach will 
use the left side of the tri uh, of the rectangle and the other will use the right and you'll see that one of them overestimates and one of them underestimates and we have to understand that somewhere in between is the correct answer so first of all why don't we just start using the left uh, or yeah the left so when you have when you're using the left hand uh, the left point of this square I'm just gonna say it left point or left yeah point um, what I mean by that is what we're gonna do is we're going to extend this like delta x area right here delta x upward until you hit the left the curve with the left side of that kind of like segment of the graph so for instance I'm gonna follow up for this middle segment the one with the star what I'm gonna do is I'm going to follow up and draw across once I hit the point watch me do it for the little plus sign area right I'm gonna follow it up at point four and then I'm gonna go across until I hit the point six line keep going until I hit the graph then f over to point eight line and then finally I'm gonna go all the way up until I hit where that graph uh, where it hits that point of the graph and then I'm gonna make it go all the way down till it hits one sorry just pretend like this is one so what I what we're doing here is we're kind of using a bunch of rectangles to estimate the area underneath this curve what you need to realize is that your area is going to be essentially the the addition of this area this area all these areas underneath the squares well within the squares so and your air is going to be everything outside of it so it's going to be this area this area is going to be an air this area is going to be an air and this area is going to be air so yeah you realize that essentially this is going to underestimate the amount of area that you have okay so I mean if we actually multiplied that out you know that the delta x delta x will equal point two right that's between uh, that's our increment here so essentially it'll be um, just to kind of draw it out you're gonna have delta x times f of a, uh, f of point two plus delta x f of point four and all I'm saying is by, by this all I'm pointing at is this shaded area right here you have your um, this like first box that you see in the bottom left and uh, in the second one is the following and the, and the one after that is the following and you just keep going so um, this one will underestimate and it actually will turn out to be about 0.24 okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow up and see how the right side does it and if I do the same technique but I follow each segment starting off with this one our little star here so you can just see that as you go it gets the air actually um, the box is actually overestimate it and uh, I'm actually going to this time just shade what I would consider the air and the air is right here and uh, this one's an overestimate using the same technique and I'm gonna call this one right point and using the same technique you'll find that this one will equal about point four four and so this kinda just sets us up for realizing that we need a more accurate way of doing it and uh, one technique will be discussed in actually the next video but uh, our, our area I'll just say it this way our area is uh, let's say less than 0.44 but greater than 0.24 and I'll see you in the next video